just doing a short presentation on drafting tools um, and uh, really talking about compasses today as they are the absolute vital tool for uh, hand-drawn geometry and really just to dispel some myths and give some guidance on what to look for when getting compasses. What you really want to look for is bow compasses and this one which is a jacquard compass I've had for years you can see it's quite a solid metal structure and running through the middle you have a pin and a wheel and this helps to adjust the width as you turn the wheel it uh, opens up or closes the, the arms of the compass and um, really th this is the kind of uh, um, metal detail you want to look for when you look for bow compasses. Uh, it's really quite uh, steady and stands the, the test of time when you have metal detailing. So that's the Jacquard compass, it's a good one. The next one I want to talk about is a Stedler compass. Now again um, it's got a pen attachment here and it has the lead attachment and uh, an extension uh, um, arm for the compass. I use this together with the jacquard so I keep the pen attachment so in case I want to overlay with colour pen um, over my pencil drawings I like that. So these two go together and uh, next in the family of bow compasses I've got this one which belongs to my daughter. Now um, although it's quite funky it's purple and plasticky and all that but uh, it's got this quick release mechanism in addition to the bow structure and it helps to adjust very quickly um, the width of the compass so that's quite a nifty addition. So you could look for these quick release buttons, but again what I like about this is that it has the metal pin and the wheel and that means it's uh, again quite a good compass to have um, and my daughter likes it so uh, that's why that's here. Um, just to give you a, a, an idea of ranges. The next one is a Rotring Compass, which of course is quite a well-known brand. Um, this again has the quick release buttons and is in the family of bow compasses. The only thing that I do worry about is that the wheel in the middle, it has a little pin, but the wheel is plastic and I do worry about um, whether this would stand the test of time. Over time that plastic will wear out and uh, it may um, affect the accuracy. So that's that one. And last but not least is this uh, a handy little compass which is a very popular model that you really readily available in the shops and also very affordable it's a maped compass and what I like about it is that it's quite rigid and it does take quite a bit of effort to move the, the the arms of the compass but it's a great one for kids and for um adults, uh, beginners, so it's it's definitely one to keep, uh, uh, to present here because it's, it's again, as I say, for a beginner or a kid, child, it's a really good compass to have. So there you go, folks. Uh, what I wanted to say was you can go out and splash a lot of bucks on really high branded, you know, expensive, top of the range tools, but the real key is to remember that your tool is only as precise as the person operating the tool, which is you. And so the magic starts with you. So you don't have to go to town with compasses. You can, by practice, um, use mid-range good tools and these are the things to look for, as I've just mentioned here. I hope you like this presentation and um, there'll be more presentations on other stationary pencils and paper but for now this is uh, all I have to say on compasses and there will be more different types of compasses and things I talk about. Thank you for watching.